take a nice rest in my bed. Now it's morning. Wait. What was this? This wasn't here last night when I like Christmas night. I I don't I don't understand. The past gone black. I I'm not sure where I should go. You know, I'm gonna do it. Where am I? What is this place? What? Careful? What's this? Casino pumpkin? I haven't seen one of these before. What, what do I do? Do I break it? Looks like it. I don't understand. Where? Why is this happening? Yeah, you know, I'm just going to make it so the stakes are high. Anyway, that didn't happen. The pumpkin. Can I break it? It. Someone's a villager? That's a nice book, though. I'm gonna give him that. Oh, well, that's not so great. Wait, wait, do I, do I hear? Pizza? What are you saying? That was very unfortunate. Anyway, guys, um, welcome back to another theme. <laughs> Um, so this is my take on Lucky Blocks, I call it the Casino Pumpkin. You place it down, you break it, and, uh, <laughs> and you feel like an idiot, and a waiver appears. That's what right. <laughs> Well, it's not always a waiver, I lied. Uh, let's get another Casino Pumpkin. Bop. Yeah, sometimes it'll just straight up kill you. Which isn't so nice. Maybe I shouldn't take all of them because it also gets with your items. Bop. There, 64 blocks of diamond. That's a good one. <coughs> uh, yeah, that kills everything, including the wither. Nothing survives that, not even that poor villager earlier. <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I really like this. Like, it's completely random what you get between Wither, uh, another Wither, uh, Villager. It's completely random Villager. Ooh! That's a. You're, you're a good Villager, I won't, I'm gonna let you live, so just stay over there. Diamond blocks. Another one? Oh, a cleric. Ooh, that's a good trade. Huh. I'm getting all the lucky ones here. Just gonna store these. Be on the safe side. Oh, baby. Oh, there go the villagers. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm actually going to explain the redstone for this one. Might as well also show the redstone for the last one. But, there is a thing with this, you don't actually need the casino pumpkins. You can use any block. Like, look at this. Teacup of doom. This teacup is fatal, look at this. Oh, it's not fatal then, whatever. Huh? 
Whoa, if you had a food farm, that would be MLG. Huh. Ooh, that huh. guy. Not as good as the last one. Oh, huh. and there's the weather. 64 dimes. More 64 dimes. More 64 dimes. More 64 dimes. More 64 dimes. There is a way to beat the system. It's kind of sad. But you know, if you're like looking at the trades that you're getting, there is no way to beat the system at all. Um, it works in sequence, sort of. Um, as you can see here, we have a hopper. Which feeds into that hopper, which feeds into that hopper, which feeds into that hopper, which then feeds back. And so, um, this goes through. And here's the best example. Um, we have this thing here. It's got a test full block command to check if that block is air. If the block is air, then what happens is it sets a redstone block up here, which is then removed by this later on. This emits a one tick pulse, which is strengthened into a two tick pulse. And then you have um, basically this little um, AND gate. Um, if this has an output and this has an output, like if they're both active, then um, both these redstone torches will turn off, which will cause this redstone to turn off, which will let this redstone torch power, which will then activate the command block, such as with a boss. And this is um, basically using a simple fill hop clock right here. And I'm a dub, so I use that basically just to kill all the items because I can't be able to do anything else. Um, and if you guys want to like properly know how to make a one tick pulse, I know some people don't like know how to make it or don't know what its use is. So here's a good time to explain, I guess. Um, yeah, this is a very good example. Um, possibly one of the best um, so here you have a um, basically a piston with redstone that will activate it and a block on top of the piston and a repeater running out of the block if you power the redstone then the signal will travel through the block but the block will then be instantly raised and so you get an extremely short signal as you can see it lot sort of flashes and there's a few graphical glitches for some reason in 1.8 but if you guys don't if I like well what's the use of this um it makes pistons leave their block behind and also it makes it so um for a fast hopper clock like this it is very likely to only come up with one outcome and also makes it but I can't just go with an all one tick so what I have to do here is I have to extend it um, to two to three ticks, so it will actually activate the redstone. To well, like affect the redstone torch because redstone torches are a bit derpy. So yeah, like that actually makes it act like a normal piston, sort of, because it like sends it up, then retracts it instantly. But yeah, this is a pretty cool system. Just gonna do it one more time. In game mode zero. Let's go. Whatever we get, we're gonna do. If it's a wither, then QQ. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Where are you, buddy? Hey, buddy. I get you. I get you. Die. Oh, I'm gonna Ow. 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 Okay, I just died. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be the redstone episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button if you want to see some cool redstone, some funny things. Uh, hit the like button if you want to suggest something. Leave that in the comments. So yeah, see you guys all later. What? That was insane. With a jump, new parkour. Bye. <laughs>